Yeah. Come back to Fossil Rush Champions in the last episode. Yeah. We're talking to this dude. We have to We're gonna talk to this dude. I went back to the old camera angle. So without further ado, please allow um, me to translate it for both of you. Now he's going to tell us about the slab blitz. <laughs> now this is a slab blitz too. You couldn't stay hidden forever, you cheeky little artifact. Now couldn't you? Yes. Well, now then. Ah, come on. As long as I get more in the spell, at least a great terrible power. With this magic, he could force his own skull to the head of another. Terrible, amusing, is very beaten. By taking over a new body's current age, as long as I'm going to assure him of eternal life. The unfortunate victim gives his bite as long as long as knows that the majestic vessel to be chosen as majestic vessel was fate worse than death. People feared it all else. Good heavens, it seems long as long was nothing more than a common magical body thief. Not that there's anything common about that. Oh, what? I say this is quite fascinating, don't you think? I wonder if people in ancient times endured Zonga Zonga's rule across countless generations, courtless generations. Or perhaps they were clever enough to confront this and defeat this terror. By my knickers, with his gauze, what happened to those poor people? Pee 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 pee. Howdy there, pars. It's me, Joe. I'm afraid we got another problem on our hands. I need the patrol team to mount up and gather my suit immediately. Joe sounded worried. We better get there right away. Achoo, Todd says. Achoo, achoo, achoo! Ah, my heart, my head hurts, and I'm freezing, Todd says. Sweat fish and chips. This is a lad. He's running dangerously high fever. Not to worry, Swedry. I'll see that your friend is up at full beans again in no time. Achoo, achoo! Gee. Sorry, Swayze. I d d don't think I'm gonna make it to see Joe. End of this episode.